In this video, we're going to be rooting the Samsung Galaxy S4. I know I've done a couple of these, but this method is by far the easiest and the most effective. Chainfire, he is an awesome, amazing developer, and <laughs> he's, I look at him like he's a genius. Like, there's nobody that could beat him or something. I don't know, it's stupid. But Chainfire is amazing. He came up with this awesome freaking root method. So I flashed this thing 100% stock. I will tell you that I had a hard time. I kept trying to flash it stock and it kept having like MDL baseband, but MDC build or or MDC build and MDL baseband. Or, it wasn't matching up. So what I did was I just installed the latest update. I rooted it and then I used triangle way. I reset the flash counter. I rebooted it into download mode and then I flashed it one last time and it stuck. So now if we go to menu settings more about device, you'll see that we are on MDC baseband and MDC build. So on the build number, we'll just keep tapping it or now when we go back, we'll see this right here, developer options and Android debugging enabled, okay. And now we can go to this update right here and press, oh the battery's too low, darn it. We can press restart and install, and it's going to boot into stock recovery, and it's going to apply this update. So now we're going to go from MDC to MDL. I have a video on how to go from MDL to MDC if you need to, but you shouldn't need to. If you have MDL, I, I even tried this with MDC, and it's, it worked just fine with MDC. I'm just updating the MDL to show you just how easy this is. So when you run Odin and you flash the tar, his root method, literally, like, you don't have to worry about the nag notification. You don't have to worry about any of that. He fixes all of it in his freaking update. He's amazing. All right, so the update was successful. It's now updating all the apps. All right, sweet. So now we'll go to menu, settings, more, about device. Now we have MDL baseband and MDL build. So freaking awesome. We have both of them matching baseband and build. And I'll show you my app drawer. We do not have root. No, there's no super user, nothing. This phone is 100% stock, just like you got it from the Sprint store. Now let's head over to the computer. Okay, so we're at the computer now. And there's going to be a link in the description of this video. It's going to look just like this right here. D-R-N-Y-E. And you also have to capitalize the capitalization. Anyways, whatever. So you'll just click on that link and it takes you to this right here. The thread is 2291827. Samsung Galaxy S4 for the Sprint variant. CF Auto Root by Chainfire. So what you're going to do is you're going to scroll down here until you see the download, which is post number three and you just click on it and then you go down here to download and it starts downloading so you'll let this finish up and then when it's done you will press show in folder come on all right show in folder so then it's going to be three files i have seven zip installed so i just go to seven zip extract two and now i have this cf auto root i will Cut that with Control X. I'll go over to my desktop, hit Control V, and then I'll open it up. And you will need to go to. Well, before you run this program, you will actually actually also need this right here: Samsung USB driver 15230. I will have the fastest link available in the description below, and you can download that. And you have to have these drivers in order for Samsung to work. Uh, the for the drivers to work in properly and etc. So if you have older drivers or if you don't have Samsung drivers, make sure that you run these first. Then go over to Odin. Now let me go ahead and turn my camera on now. All right. So earlier you saw us enable Android debugging. You're gonna need Android debugging enabled. So what you can do is let me show you real quick. On your phone, just simply hold the power button, choose restart, press OK, and while it's restarting. Make sure you're holding volume down and don't let go of it. Don't let go. Keep holding. Mm. Keep holding. And then press volume up to get into download mode. All right, so our phone's in download mode, and you'll see it on the right of your screen. Oh, no, 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 no. Actually, let me put the phone on the left of the screen. Let me do that. Hold on. There we go. Now the phone will be on the left, and you will just open up this Odin, 
and you will right click on it, choose run as administrator. If you have UAC disabled, then you will need to, or enabled, you'll need to press allow when the little box pops up. But I have it disabled. How you'll tell that is you just go to UAC, user account control settings, and I have mine on never notify. I'm not saying I recommend doing that, it's just I know what I'm doing, so I do that. Anyways, press the PDA button, make sure you don't change any of this. In fact, also, he doesn't like, that's awesome. Chainfire is amazing. He, you can't even mess this up, except maybe choosing the wrong one. Choose PDA, choose CF Auto Root. Let me move the window over here, sorry about this. Let me move the window over here, choose uh, CF Auto Root, right there, press open, and then our phone's not showing up because we don't have it plugged in yet. Okay, so I just plugged it in, drivers, Installing MSM9860. Come on. All right, so there we go. COM5. Yours will be COM and then a number. Doesn't matter what number. It's going to be different. Ready to use. Okay, now press start. And the magic all happens behind the scenes. This doesn't take very long at all. Once it's done, reset, pass, you can close that out, close that out, and now we'll head over to the phone. Alright, so now we came back over to the phone. Go ahead and turn it on and there's no notification at the moment no notifications awesome so menu settings more about device and we still have mdl mdl sick awesome so in our app drawer we should see super su open it you can follow them on twitter if you want to or google plus uh, i'm already doing all that so i'm just gonna no thanks and there you have it. You have Super SU on your device. You can install any app you want to, and you're fully rooted, like all the way. Let's do root root checker, and then you can click the first one if you want. I have the pro version, so I'm gonna go ahead and install that and accept. And then I'm gonna go to Super SU Pro because I support Chainfire. I have literally, if he has an app that you can buy, I bought it. All right, so open that up. Press Agree. Okay. Verify root and grant. Don't know what happened to the app there, but check that out. You, congratulations, you have root access, super, applica super user application status, version 1.3 is installed, latest binary, latest everything. You can install Titanium Backup, start restoring your apps, you can do whatever you need or want to do. It's freaking awesome. Congratulations, you have a fully rooted Samsung Galaxy S4 on the very latest update. Now that Chainfire supports it, it'll get updated in the future. If a new version comes out and they try to pull this crap again, Chainfire will probably update it and find a way around it. Because you are not going to get a notification. You don't have to freeze any apps. You don't have to do anything special. Just literally make sure you're on MDL and run the CF Auto route and bam, you're rooted. It's that freaking simple. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it when you do that. It lets me know you enjoyed the video and you want to see more videos like this. If you're new to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. I'm actually doing my review right now at the phone. You'll probably see that first. I'm actually doing my comparison of the HTC One versus the S4. You'll probably see that video before this one. I'm getting the Note 3 when it comes out and I'll have how to root, how to install custom recovery, how to install ROMs. I have more videos on this device, HTC One, etc. So many videos. Seriously, if you don't subscribe, you'll miss out on a lot of awesome content. This is What Would Josh Do? And I'm out.